x and y intercepts. The x intercept is the x coordinate of a point where a graph crosses the x axis. It's represented by the ordered pair x comma zero. The y intercept is the y coordinate of a point where a graph crosses the y axis. The y intercept can be represented by the point zero comma y. So here we have two graphs, and let's identify the x-intercept and the y-intercept. The x-intercept is where the graph crosses the x-axis, so it is 1. So x-intercept is 1. The point of the x-intercept is 1, 0. The y is where it crosses the y-axis, so the y-intercept here is equal to negative 3. And if I wanted to represent the point associated with the y-intercept, it would be 0, negative 3. In this graph, the x-intercept is 3. And the point associated with the x-intercept is 3, 0. The y-intercept, where the line crosses the y-axis, is 2. And the point associated with that is 0, 2. Oops. And just as a review, we talked about zeros of a function. Those were the x-intercepts. The zero of this function is 1. The zero of this function is 3. We've also talked about the y-intercept before. When we wrote in y equals mx plus b in slope-intercept form, b is the y-intercept. Here it would be a negative 3, and here it would be 2. And when we graph using slope-intercept, we start on the y-intercept and then apply our slope. So now we're going to graph using the x and y-intercepts. Graph the following using the table of values. So I've got, I'm going to graph the x-intercept and the y-intercept. So I've copied the equation twice. I also like to think of a, a table of values here. Put a little table of values out of lines. And we'll call this one X and Y. So I'm talking about X and Y intercepts. I'm looking for the number of X when Y is 0. That's my X intercept. I'm also looking for the number for y when x is 0. So the first one I'm going to find is my x-intercept. This is my x-intercept. Okay. So what number is x when y is 0? So when y is 0, so 3 times 0 is 0, so that kind of goes away. So now I have negative 2x equals 6 x equals negative 3. So my x-intercept is negative 3. All right, what's my y-intercept? What is y when x is 0? When x is 0. So this is negative 2 times 0 is 0. So 3y equals 6 y y equals 2. y intercept. So y is 2. So let's go ahead and graph using these points. 
So I have negative 3, 0, and 0, 2. Alright, the next one, I'm going to go ahead and find the x and y intercepts and graph them. So I've copied the equation twice. I'm going to draw one of my little t tables again. I'll do it between it. And this is x. So I'm going to look for the x intercept. What's x when y is 0? And the y-intercept, what's y when x is 0? So when y is 0, here, 4x equals negative 12, x equals negative 3. And here, when x is 0, negative 2y equals negative 12, y equals 6. So if I graphed it, negative 3, 0, and 0, 6. There's some more to graph. Find the x and y intercept. <coughs> All right, so we'll do this one. Find the intercepts. Find x and y intercepts of the line. So here we have an equation: 5y equals 3x minus 1. So I think what I want to do here is I want to go ahead and write the problem twice. Once find the x. Once find the y. I have my table here. My x and y. What is x when y is zero? What is y when x is 0? So I'm going to find my x-intercept first. So I'm looking for x. So when y is 0, 5 times y is 0. So 0 equals 3x minus 1. So I'm going to add 1 to both sides. And divide by 3. x equals 1 third. So 1 third. And when y, what is y when x is 0? So we get that's a 0. So 5y equals negative 1. y equals negative 1 third. Let's go back to what they asked. Find the x and y intercepts. So you could write that x is one third and y is one fifth. Because the intercept is just the x or y value, not the point.